Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan. So have you ever heard of power line adapters or the home plug standard? No? Well, neither have many other people. It's been around for years, yet people don't even know it exists, let alone know the benefits of buying them for your home network. So recently I've had a home networking problem. I need to stream HD video from a Plex server upstairs to a Chromecast downstairs. Now my network used to be made up of two Apple airport base stations, which as it turned out, wasn't the sturdiest network in the world for a big house. Long story short, the Wi-Fi signal from my Airport Express downstairs was nowhere near as strong as it needed to be to stream HD from upstairs and because my hull of the house, the Airport Extreme, kept crashing when there was any significant load at all, I decided to buy a new router to handle it all, this Asus RTAC68U. Great router and more than capable of replacing both of my Airport base stations, but rather than store them away in a drawer somewhere, why not use them to increase the downstairs Wi-Fi? Now the problem I had was that Apple routers can't wirelessly extend or repeat Wi-Fi from other non-Apple routers, like I had them set up to do before, but with the Asus router, in classic Apple style, they're not compatible. So it turned out the only way to use an Airport Extreme in conjunction with an Asus router was to connect them via Ethernet, and of course they're on either side of the house, so running a huge long Ethernet cable down the stairs was just not an option. So thanks to a quick Google search, Powerline adapters were the next best thing, essentially creating the same type of secure Ethernet connection, but instead bridging that distance gap using electricity cabling already in your house. Pretty neat. So this is what your average home plug looks like. As you can see, it is pretty big and bulky. This one in particular from TP-Link uh, carries the newest version of the home plug AV2 standard, which is made for today's HD streaming. So it is pretty powerful and that's why it's so big and bulky, but some of the slower, older versions of the home plug uh, are a bit smaller and a bit cheaper too. Now AV2 home plugs promise up to 1200 megabits per second in theory, which is over a gigabit or 150 megabytes per second, which is pretty fast, but that really is just a theory. I'll get into how deceiving that is in a sec, but in terms of setup, all manufacturers seem to provide a starter kit like these ones, uh, which have two plugs in each box. Uh, the first one I just plugged in up here in my bedroom to my router and it started up itself. The second one I plugged in downstairs in my living room and within a minute they automatically connected to each other, green light indicated a good connection and that's literally it, no other setup required. Power line adapters are actually such a great idea, they're generally pretty cheap compared to other network hardware, they're super simple to set up, and they provide a very stable, secure network connection if Wi-Fi or Ethernet just aren't feasible. But of course, they do have their drawbacks, there's three of them, and they all depend on your situation. Number one, there's no way of telling how well a power line network will work in your house, if at all. This goes back to the deceiving theoretical max speeds that are advertised on the boxes. The speeds you get on the other side are all dependent on the quality and setup of the electrical wiring in your house, if you're crossing circuits or not with the placement of your second plug, and if there's any interference on the same circuit from things like an oven, microwaves, anything with a motor, etc. Best thing is to keep them out of the kitchen at least. Now in my case, I seem to get a great connection from one side of the house to the other, crossing circuits and a central circuit board which are known to either make or break a home plug's connection. Now I could get all technical here, but the point is, you don't really know how well a power line adapter is going to work until you try it yourself. Uh, I've seen people online with houses built in the 40s which have home plugs and it works just perfectly. Uh, people who have houses only five years old that completely refuse to let the signal through. So my advice is get a damn money back guarantee. Number two, even if your home plug reports a great connection like mine does, you still won't get the same bandwidth you do through your adapter as you do directly from your router. It's just a fact, there's always interference, resistance from somewhere. Best thing to do is buy the absolute fastest home plug you can afford, but within reason. There's no point in buying this one, the 1200 megabits version, if you only intend to browse the web on the other side, so be smart. And number three, which mightn't affect everyone, but did for me, uh, due to the signals the adapter sends through the power lines, if you have a radio somewhere in your house and it's plugged in, especially if it's an older one, uh, it very well might pick up all the interference on the power lines and amplify it through the speakers. So I now have to find some sort of filter to filter out all this interference because if there's any heavy data traffic on the lines at all, you very well might be driven mad trying to hear anything that isn't static. Unless he goes public and all the fans are on their back. All that being said, if you think a power line adapter might be for you and you can get a money back guarantee on it, go for it. Most aren't too expensive, the majority of the time they work just fine, and if you don't have a spare wireless router lying around, you can always get one with Wi-Fi built in. 
For me, they've solved my heavy streaming needs, and I'd recommend anyone to at least give them a go. If you want to buy this exact one that I have on Amazon, try it and test it, the link is down below in the description. There's links down there to other versions of the same plug too, if you don't want to buy this one which is a bit expensive. So if you buy one, let me know how it goes. So that's my time for this video guys, hope you found it educational and helpful too. Uh, hit subscribe down there for new videos every week and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on home networking nowadays. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bleh. Okay. There's one there, isn't it?